Forestry Tasmania has been cleared of unsustainable harvesting practices. An investigation was launched after claims the state-owned company had been logging native forest at double the sustainable yield. State political reporter Brad Markham. Proudly showing off its latest independent tick of approval. It's a really uh, positive boost for, for the staff. Forestry Tasmania has been recertified for a further three years under the Australian Forestry Standard. Customers have been asking uh, today, yesterday, and uh, they'll be very pleased to have the assurance that um, we've been recertified. It follows a rigorous audit into the struggling state-owned company's forest management practices. This is important in terms of allowing international customers to understand that we are operating sustainably here in Tasmania. Those uh, certifications aren't worth the paper they're written on there, you know, just like a, a cheap uh, toy, you know, nobody wants it anymore and the market's not prepared to pay for it. The recertification comes just months after it was claimed Professor Jonathan West had found Forestry Tasmania had been logging native forest at double the sustainable yield. But an investigation has cleared it of over-harvesting. Of course, uh, Professor West uh, uh, himself said that uh, he'd been taken out of context. And it wasn't so much Professor West's comments, but it was the fact that activists seized on them. What has to be taken into consideration, though, is the, the whole estate, uh, the forest estate in Tasmania, which includes uh, a large plantation base. Despite the recertification, the Resources Minister is refusing to give any assurances about the company's future. Look, I think talk of job redundancies and so on has unsettled people. Uncertainty that's likely to continue until the results of a government-ordered review of Forestry Tasmania is made public. Brad Markham, ABC News.